What's up everybody, Camshaft here with another video. One of the questions I got recently is, what are stale shares in Ethereum and how can they affect me? Stick around. All right guys, welcome back, Camshaft here. I'm gonna talk to you today about stale shares. Are they beneficial? Should we turn off our settings to reduce them or should we keep them? I have my own um, outlook on this, but I really want to hear what you guys think. Um, so leave comments in uh, below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, there, there's two different ways to look at this. I'm going to show you my way. Um, so let's talk about what exactly a stale share is. So. You think about a stale share, it's um, stale shares are the shares that were sent after a block was already solved. So, you know, we're trying to figure out the equation. Uh, my miner's like, yep, yep, okay, I finally figured it out. Oh, wait, too late. Stale share, right? So we have that, um, but how does that affect us? So um, some, would stay, well, some would say, you know, in here, uh, if, you, if you just Google, uh, are we paid for Ethereum stale shares, you know, some talk about, how to reduce stale shares um you know and there's plenty of links um how do i do that how do i make my miner more effective here's the way i look at it okay so here's my uh particular miner right now as you can see we're going along here and you can see the stale shares there's four five four three two two you know the percentage is so low um compared to my valid shares and here's another unique thing I wanted to show you. So stale shares in some uh, cryptocurrencies can be bad, right? It doesn't do anything for you. But here's a unique thing. This is the one thing that I found. I searched high and low for this. So um, Vitalik uh, Betterin says, in Ethereum, we can make similar analysis, except that thanks to Ethereum, uncle mechanism we have a very solid data to analyze stale shares in ethereum can be re-included into the chain as uncles and if you guys don't know about uncles uncles um you could still get rewards from uncle shares so um, uncles can receive up to 75 percent of their original block reward um so does that mean possibly that if I give a stale share, it's reintroduced into the blockchain. Now I'm gonna get paid later on. That I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a programmer. I really don't know that. Um, so to go even further, if we look at Claymore Miner, which is one that I use, um, you can actually set this rate dash e s stale or dash e stale. Send Ethereum stale shares to the pool. It can increase your effective hash rate a bit. So if you look at your hash rate here, you know, the effective is the is this blue line here. You can see it goes up and down. Um, so that can affect that. Um, and going back here, it says default value is one. If you don't want to send your stale shares, you can set it to dot uh, e stale zero. But my question is, if I'm able to give a stale share, if I didn't give that stale share, I wouldn't get anything but if i am and it turns into an uncle am i getting you know 75 percent reward for that that's the question who knows um i personally have such a low stale share uh that doesn't really bother me so i'm looking at as you're still uh, introducing a share um it is possible that I could get paid back for that uncle. So let me know what you guys think uh, down below. I really appreciate it today. Don't forget to like, click, subscribe. Uh, we do have our Facebook uh, mining thing down below. Make sure you subscribe to that. Um, leave your comments and let me know how we're doing. Thank you for coming here and have a great day.